What is going on, entertainers? So time comes out with another recap. We talking in that mint, okay? How are we at the end of the season and we did not find out who is going to get the 10 K in a chain, okay? It's like y'all forgot that we're supposed to realize that at the end of the season. This I am, okay? So we didn't find that out, but we did get a little bit of, you know, like a little top four of uh, the season. So, of course, we leave off with, you know, Rosé getting at Judy. The way Judy was backing up, I thought she was going to slip over her chancleta on her heels and dip over. So uh, she tries to fight Judy because she feels like um, Judy disrespected her about the money thing. You know who I blame about this whole situation? It's you, Dime. Because you, the first couple of episodes, I, I don't know if you were still establishing what can and cannot be done. But Rosé had a good point because it's like, that's literally why they took the, the bag got took. You, I want the bag back. Remember the bag? It got took because the first episode, some girls were reprimanded for for letting uh girls dance over their money. So that's the problem that Rose had because she didn't want her dancing, she didn't want Judy dance over her money, and Judy didn't want you know uh Rose dance over her money. Like it was like the same type of deal. She wanted her money picked up before Rose kept dancing. Right. So she didn't leave. So she kept dancing. So that was the issue right then and there because it was a miscommunication thing. So it's really on Dime's fault because had that never happened, that whole fight would have never happened. Right. So Rose is really, really mad. She goes backstage and uh, basically tells, uh, you know, Dime she about to get her. So she starts boop, beat, beat, beat. Judy was getting turned everywhere but loose. Don't get me wrong, though. Let's not out here at like Rose fights like Tzatziki or something. But the way. <laughs> Judy was getting flopped, slopped all over. It was bad. It was really bad. And I kind of feel bad for Judy. Because <laughs> Judy, you can tell she's not like a fighter. She's just like a screamer and a yeller. Okay? So, Rosette kind of gets her real good. And T. Woods, she wanted to jump in at one point. She said she didn't jump in because, you know, they didn't... Uh, Rosé didn't jump into her fight with Black. Mind you, they fought again backstage. And Judy told Tenneke to eat her ass. Eat my ass. Okay? She said, bend over, eat my back. Okay? So Tenneke didn't like that. <laughs> Rosé didn't like that. When I tell you, I screamed. She said, eat your what, nigga? Eat your what? I don't eat, your, I don't eat ass, nigga. I eat pussy. I don't know if it's a disrespectful thing in New York where, like, you can't tell niggas to eat your back. But she didn't like that. It, uh, Rose took that as an insult. No shade. Like, she was real mad. I said, damn, Rose. Like, <laughs> you would have thought she called her the C word or she called her on her name. She said, eat my butt. <laughs> I cracked up. It was so funny to me. Okay. So they end up fighting by like two, three rounds. And I don't know why they kept letting the fight go on as long as they did. Cause it's like, she was already tearing her up everywhere but loose. So it's like, damn, let, let a girl have some mercy. I beg you for mercy. Like, let her have a little bit of mercy. Because she was just tearing her ass up. I said, damn. Poor, poor, poor Judy. Okay? So, Rose is mad after the fight, right? And she's just like, well, you stupid, dumb bitch, bro. Yeah. You, you, you dummy. We was just cool, bitch. You a dumb bitch. Okay, so she's really, really mad, right? And she goes, oh, I could be anybody up in here. I hate when people say that. Because it's like, you asking for trouble. That's just that on that. You're asking for a conversation. Because not everybody's going to take a liking to that. That's like threatening everybody in the room. Like, you'll beat up everybody in the room. Okay? So, I don't think Nile had a, a, you know... A fault in saying, like, hey, don't say everybody. Like, come on now. You mad, but don't say everybody. Whether you're friend or not, like, come on. I get it, though, when it comes to Rosé, because she's like, we're friends. We sleep together. But guess what? These girls, it don't apply in this situation. It's not like you're in a room with your best friend. You just met this girl. You don't know this girl like that. Like, you just met Ali. Like, what? They filmed for, like, seven, ten days or something like that. Like, you don't know her like that. So it's like, yeah. I don't understand why she felt that way. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right? So she gets into a Nile a little bit because she's like, man, you, you bugging, you bugging. You talking about, you, you talking about what, not everybody? I sleep in the same bed as you. I eat your pussy, nigga. She was just angry, okay? So 
Rose and T Will get into it. I think T Will bumped her on, on purpose. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna be on Rose's side with this. I think T Will was a little hot that she's she she done flopped and plopped Judy all up through that <laughs> locker room back there. So I think T Will fell away against Judy. I mean, fell away against Rose. I really feel like she fell away against her and she didn't like it. so. I just feel like she did that on purpose. Like, I think T. Wood did that to get, like, a small lick back. Like, a bump lick back. No, nah, Bookie, like, you did that on purpose. I'm on Rose's side when it comes to that. I believe she was clean and purposefully, but she bumped into her to be, like, kind of chin check her, okay? The bitch not Nelly, none though. That's why you fucked up, T. Wood. So she's like, what's up? Like, I'm on house right now, so back up. Back up. Back the fuck up. Sit the down. So she starts yelling at T. Wood. T. Wood is like, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. What are you talking about? I know what's going on. And I'm like, T. Wood, girl, you about as drunk as hell. You drunk, drunk. Like, it's not even funny. Her eyes don't look normal. None of that. You drunker than hood, baby. Okay? She's walking around, I guess, clean up in the locker room, which I'm like, who died and made you in charge of the cleaning? Because I wouldn't be clean up after a nubby. Because that to me is crazy. You're cleaning up after girls that are in competition with you. Like, the heck? Dime didn't pay for the cleaning services? I want to clean not a thing, except for after myself. And maybe the girls I'm cool with, but that's about it. So, good job for you, T-Wood, being a, a, a team player. Got you top four. So, Dime talks to T-Wood about her uh, cleaning after everyone. She's like, thank you for cleaning. I'm going to get your bag. Let, let me get your bag, because I'm going to put it with the rest of your bag. I don't like that. Is that, like... <sighs> That strip protocol when it comes to dime to me is crazy. Just counting up all up in your money like that. Like, who knows what they might do with that coin? Like, I don't know. So then we see Rose and Ferrari talk. And Rose, she's so proud of herself. Okay. So you you know how Rose do. She like, mm-hmm. I beat ass. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll be I'll beat up ass. I beat ass. I told her. I was gonna choke her. I told her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So she hit us with one of those And then Ferrari sort of agreeing Child Ferrari wig look like it's been through the season <laughs> I'm sorry Ferrari's wig looks like it's been Through the season Okay That to me is what is so funny Like <laughs> I look at Ferrari's wig I'm like whoa Ferrari Rari Garai, <laughs> that thing looks toe up for the flow up in the ground up. Kaput. Anyways, uh, they're talking and they're kind of agreeing that what Judy did was wrong. In my opinion, like I said, I think both of them were kind of in the right, but I blame more so Dime because of the miscommunication. So then we see Dime, who tells us, you know, who gets eliminated. Wes gets eliminated because, you know... She picked up the bag on her knees. And then Edible, I, I believe in her confession, she said she was in pain or something like that. So I don't know what happened with her for her to get eliminated. I don't remember. I look, you don't care. Edible seems like a sweet girl, but I don't think she's into dancing at all anymore from what it looks like. So I don't think this was the show for her. Okay. So Dime has a slumber party. And they ask, like, freaky deaky questions. They're like, oh, what would you do if uh, you... Caught your nigga into other niggas. I said, damn, look at look at all these girls just fools sitting there thinking that they niggas don't be into other niggas. I'm like, Oof. I know it's about like three, a good three of y'all niggas that be dealing with other niggas that y'all just don't know about. So that kind of, it disappointed me. Because I'm like, at least if some of them kind of knew it, be like, okay, we're getting somewhere. The niggas is not, you know, that slick no more. But nah, they slick, child. They slick. Anyways, <laughs> they do the top four. And it's YSL, 10, T. Wood, and Shea Marie. I would have picked Gorgeous, YSL, Shea Marie, and Judy. I feel like 10 doesn't deserve it, okay? You shit it on her floors. What did you expect to get any top four? That, to me, Jessica, was crazy. Yeah. Gorgeous, I think she deserves it because not only she's a baddie, she minded her business. She didn't jump into any of the fights. She didn't beat up Tenneke. So it's like, to me, she minded her business, was quiet, and did her big one. YSL deserves it to me because I think out of all of them, she's the most marketable. Like, she's, to me, I could see her being like a big artist. Like, just because how she carries herself, how she speaks, she's beautiful. I would pick YSL as the winner, in my opinion. 
And Shea Marie is another contender. She'll probably be a runner up or the winner. It could be either why sell Shea Marie to me to be number one. Shea Marie really carried herself well too. And I think uh she had a good season. Now, Judy to me, I picked her because um, even though she was, you know, de dealt with the ten and key thing, she to me, after that, kind of redeemed herself with like some of the challenges and everything like that. And I'm not holding the whole fighting in the strip club thing against her because, like I said, it was a miscommunication thing. All right. So the season overall, I'm going to give it like a six out of 10. And the reason why is because it's I took four points off due to lack of concept. OK, the concept sucks. It sucks. Um, it sucks really bad um, because y'all need to just make it a stripper competition show. You know, I've talked about this with some people. They know who I'm talking to and make a stripper competition show and make it like an elevating type of thing versus trying to get them out the strip club. Cause that to me doesn't really make sense if you guys are in this club most of the time. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10 to be honest. Please don't rip back queen, make Tokyo the house mom queen by girl. Okay. And that I think will work. Okay. Leave your comments down below and we're out babies. Ain't no personal thing. All